everyone. Triangle uh, TJM is congruent to triangle PHS. And we have to complete the statements. So P is congruent to angle T. So the reason you know that is you go in order. This has to go in order. So P is congruent to angle T. So this would also be 87 degrees. So angle T. Line segment JM. So let's look at this again. Um, JM. Okay, so JM is right here. Has to be congruent to line segment HS. Because it has to go in order. So you just look at this and you can see. So JM is congruent to HS. These two lines are uh, congruent line segments. The measure of angle M equals how many degrees? So M goes with S. So measure of angle M equals the measure of angle S, which is 54 degrees. All right. Angle P goes with angle T, so angle P is 87 degrees. Let's take the degrees off here because they already wrote it here. Okay, J is going to be, um, so this one is um, S goes with M, so this is 54 degrees. So we need to know the measure of angle J. So all you do is you take 180 minus 54 minus 87. So when you do that, let's see, you get 180 minus 54 minus 87. And that's going to be 39. So 39 goes here. So this goes 39 as well. So J is 39 degrees. And now we have measure of PT um, or MT. So these two, MT is this one, equals, let me write this again, TJM is congruent to PHS. So I know MT, MT is congruent to SP. So SP is seven uh, centimeters. So that means MT is also seven centimeters. And then we're gonna, since the two triangles are congruent, we're going to do it again. So we're going to say triangle HPS is congruent to what triangle? So we're just going to look at this. H goes with J. All right. P goes with T. So put T here. And S uh, goes with M. So we're going to write uh, M here. So this would be triangle JTM. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.